on me, but, um, anyway, we're gonna, um, just keep looping it, so, just like normal, so, and then, I'm, we're gonna do the same thing we did with the first gold beans, we're just gonna loop it to the side, then we're gonna loop up with the neon orange, we're gonna go to the side, grab, go all the way under, pull these two bands upward and over. Then we're gonna do the same thing with the other two. We're gonna go all the way under, grab these two and pull pull them over. That might be a little tough because like we're going under so many bands. So, so far we've looped all the way up to the shoulders. Now we're gonna get loop, try and loop the neck. And it's okay if Try not to break your bands when you go under because it like a lot of bands. So then you're gonna um just go under all the bands and move it over and it will be a little tough because like you're going under so many bands. And now we're gonna reach the head, which really isn't that hard. So you're just gonna loop this over to that wet side. You're gonna loop that over here. I'm gonna move the braid out of the way. Gonna um Grab, loop this middle band right here all the way up. I'm gonna go down over to the side, loop that. Oh, sorry. If it does come off, um, all you really need to do is put it back on, just because that just always happens. You're gonna loop that right over the braid anyway. Then you're gonna go down to the other side, grab that, loop it over. Then you're gonna go turn. I'm just gonna turn it over so you can see, and that's also kind of easier for me. You're gonna grab the two brown bands. Sorry, um, that just fell off. Hook it over, and um, you do want to make sure they're making a teardrop shape. So, you're gonna grab that, loop it over. Then I'm gonna. Then you're gonna pull, pull the holding band back. Oh, sorry, this is kind of tricky. Um, loop that over. You're gonna grab this brown band, loop it over here, and you're gonna grab this. Um, sorry, this is like, sorry, and if a band does, like, kind of come off, it's okay, you can just kind of grab it with your fingers and loop it onto the peg you want it to go on, and then you're going to grab this last band right here and loop it right on over. So then, um, that's basically all you really got to do for the body, and then you can, you're probably going to want to tie it off, so what you're going to do is you're probably going to want to grab a brown band, you're going to go under, grab that brown band, um, you're gonna go pull it, put both on your hook, so you have this, these two right here. You're gonna pull it over like that, then you're gonna just give it a little tug, and it will probably break, because there's like so many bands, so you're probably gonna have to do it a few times before you can actually get it, because like, I always do have to do it a few times, even though like, I've been doing it this I do this a lot, and, like, my bands, like, always break, so, anyway, we're gonna go like that, pull it over, and tug, the, just not too hard so the bands don't break, and now we can take our little person off the loom, so, you can use your hook to help, that probably does make it easier, but I'm used to not using my hook, so I'm just not gonna use my hook. And like I said, I really don't know how to fast forward or anything, so I'm not going to do that. Okay, so now, here is what your person's going to look like after you pull her off the loom. So what, you're probably going to want to adjust her, maybe stretch her out a little. Kind of, so, yeah. And then here's your person after you pull her off the loom. She doesn't really have her wings yet. But you're probably going to want to tuck this little par charm in here. If you don't want to put her on anything, like use her as a charm, that's okay. If you want to use her as a charm, that's fine. But I'm going to show you how to tuck them in in any way. So what you're going to do, you're going to stick your head hook through her head like that, you're gonna grab this band right here, and you're gonna try do your best and pull it through. I'm, like, terrible at this, 
so this is not going to be perfect, but an easier way to do it would be just to stick it through the middle right here and grab the charm string, and you're going to just pull it right through. It might get caught on some bands on the way. So anyway, it probably will be sticking out through the back, but that's really okay. So anyway, now I'm going to teach you how to make her wings, and for that you're going to need 48 light bands. So um, the wings are actually going to be quite small, but they, they will need 24 bands each, so I'm just going to show you how to do that. So what you're going to do, you're going to start like you would any other any loom band creation. You're going to um, go like this with double bands. We're going to do double bands except on the capping band and on the holding band. So we're going to go down all the way, so like this. So we're going to go down the sides and down the middle, and then we're going to do that one more time. Down the first side, middle, and then the other side. Then we're going to go down the middle one more time. And then um, we're going to go take this, and we're going to go like that, and we're going to go the other way. So then what you're going to do, you're going to take a single band, and you're just going to loop it around all these three pegs. Then you're going to take this, um, most of you probably know how to do a capping band, but I'm just going to show you anyway. You're going to loop it three times around the peg. So then that's how you make put the wing on the loom. And you're going to just take, go under the capping band, grab the first two bands, and loop it onto oh, itself. Like that. Then you're going to um, take the, um, grab the next two bands and pull it onto itself the same way you did the other two. Then what you're going to do is you're going to grab the last two bands and loop it up the center so you kind of have this little pop shape. Anyway, the next part is you're just going to loop it up, up this side. I'm just doing it like this because that's just faster for me. Then you're going to go down the middle then, um, well, up the middle, and then, um, you're gonna go up the side part, the other side, and move that cat holding band, not capping band, and then you're gonna loop these two into the middle, and, and then what you're gonna do the slip knot. So grab a white band, put your hook through here, and so there's a hair in there, um, I'm gonna pull that out. You're going to grab that, pull it through, put it on your hook, and then pull it right onto here. Then you're just going to take it off the loom. So then there's your first swing. So what you're going to do, you're going to grab your girl. You're going to go through right here, I suppose, like right there. You're going to grab your charm string. And you're gonna pull right through here, and then you're gonna loop as go loop your charm string around the wing, ring as ma wing, sorry, as many times as needed. So I'm just gonna wrap it around a lot. So then when you think you've done it enough times, you can just stop. So there's your first wing. Then you're gonna do the same thing. So go this way, that way. You're gonna go down down the side two times. Gonna go down the middle t three times. And then you're gonna go down the other side two times. And then you're go gonna go in, in, in. And then looks like I'm going to need a couple more white bands than I thought I would need. So you're going to loop it around that peg. And you're going to loop around this like th three times. And then you're going to pull back the cap band with your hook. Gr grab the, okay, um, so you're going to pull back the cap band. Grab the first two bands. And you're going to um, loop it up that way. Then you're going to grab the next two bands, loop it over to this side. Then you're going to loop the last two bands, loop it up to the middle. Then you're going to just loop, loop the sides, 
loop the middle, and then loop the other side. And then you're gonna loop, loop the last two, couple bands. You're gonna grab another white band, and what you're gonna um, pull it through here and make it make your slip knot. So grab one loop, pull it over, tug, and then you're gonna pull it off the loom. I'm sorry if I'm going kind of fast. You can pause the video at any time if um you're if you think I'm going too fast. So then you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna except on the other side. You're gonna go grab these. Two, put your hook under these two bands. You're gonna grab that. Grab the other wing, and you're gonna pull this band. Wrap this band around it as many times as you think is needed. I'm, I usually wrap it a lot, around a lot of times just so um, the band doesn't show, but you can wrap it around as many times as you think is necessary. And there is your little fairy person. I hope you like her. Bye! Happy New Year!